Yes, yes, people, welcome to another edition of Agenda FC on Sarcasm City TV, hosted by myself, Flawless Mr. Take Note, and I'm joined by my fellow co-host, the finest export out of West London, the AC Penitentiary Patroller, Champions League winners 2021. So I don't even need to ask, you don't even need to know who I'm talking about. I don't even need to ask him how he is, but I'm here with my Don Carefree Lewis. So yeah, fam, how are you doing in it? Get it off your chest in it. He's here with, for those that aren't watching, you might be listening on audio. He's here in the shades. He's got the Chelsea shirt on, the Champions League uh, winners 2021 flag in the back as well. But go on. Go on, fam. Finally, the Champions League has come back home <laughs> and we're Stand here we are loud we are proud we are champions of europe again what's everyone saying guys big up everyone in the comment section i'm seeing their cfc's in there and everything how's your week been flawless my g I'm 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 good. You know what I'm saying? I can't complain. Not as good as yours. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously we lost our final, numero uno, but City didn't win the Champions League. And I did say from the jump that Chelsea had to win that. You know what I'm saying? I was saying that from the jump. Chelsea had to win that. So yeah, man, my, my week's been all right, but nowhere near as good as yours in that. Look at you, innit? Of course, so how, it's how you... been beautiful. Chelsea fans gassed all over the timeline. Arsenal fans just sitting there saying London is blue and that the argument is dead now. Well, most of them, there's still a few deluded ones still out there. Tottenham fans not even getting involved. United fans and Liverpool fans thanking us. Rival fans have actually been gracious to us over the Champions League win as well. They found it really hard to take anything away from us because unlike 2012, this one was actually dominating. We beat mm -hmm. the runners-up for the Portuguese League. We beat the La Liga runners-up. The La Liga champions and the runners-up were, were top of La Liga at the time as well. And we've been the Premier League champions. All on the way to retaining the greatest prize in European football. This time, nobody can take it from us. That's our second Champions League trophy. We are not a small club anymore. We aren't one of them no-fans clubs anymore. Nope. We are a big team now. If it wasn't already obvious, it is now obvious. You're deluded if you say otherwise. Chelsea are here. And the best part of it as well, it's not like 2012 where it's the end of a story. It's only the start. Mason Mount, 22 years of, of age, has a Champions League trophy. Tammy Abraham, Reese James, fucking Billy Gilmore, Tino Andrin, all of these guys, Callum Hudson Adoy, and their first trophy for Chelsea was Big Ears. It was old was Big Ears himself. This is where the story just starts. We're making the same waves next season, but we're going to make stronger waves too. But what a season, guys. But depending on these guys' career, it could only even be a drop in the ocean. But we're gonna celebrate this and run with it for the rest of the year. Are you done, Mister Dwayne? Oh, something else will some, something <laughs> else will come up in about five minutes. And I'll drop that. Too. Oh yeah, speaking of which, the Danish Maldini as well, the guy who everyone calls Mister Tummy Ache, doesn't turn up in the big games. Came on nearly before half time and dropped a ten out of ten on Ruben Diaz's head. The yeah, the prop is over now. It's done. I, I don't need to push Christensen prop into your heads because if you don't rate this centre back anymore, I don't know about your ball knowledge. I really don't. Man had everything: blocks, tackles, interceptions, positioning, passing out the back, everything. Didn't put a foot wrong. Man showed Diaz, Stones, whoever you want to say, levels on the big stage. And we got more man in the penitentiary as well. Every man from the first player to the last. Edward Mendy in his first season conceded less goals than any other Champions League winning goalkeeper in history. In history. He's showing everybody levels in his first season. As for Equator, Rudiger, that first block on Phil Foden, that is about quality. as important as a goal. Quality. Ridiculous, quality. man. Silver is good for the first 30 minutes but then had to come off injured. Jorginho is one of the best DMs in the league, if not the best. And N'Golo Kante dropped a legacy performance on the heads of Manchester City. Every time they even tried to transition, N'Golo was there to just nick the ball off them and say, nah, where are you going, man? Sorry, man, none of that today. Mason Mount with that pass. I know we're talking about Kante, and if he wins the, if he wins the Euros, he has a chance of winning the Ballon d'Or. If England win the Euros, shit, Mason Mount has a chance of winning the Ballon d'Or at his age, and that's a madness in itself. And Timo Werner, people are going to go after the two misses at the start of the game. 
Now, first half, he was one of the most crucial players. And Mason Mount doesn't get that pass through if Timo Werner doesn't make that run that takes Diaz out of position. And that's exactly been Werner's role over the last few weeks towards the end of the season. But as always, champions of Europe, we're going to run with it. We're rubbing it in everyone's faces. We are back. And it's never felt better to be blue. Not for the last nine years. Are you done? Are you finished, yeah? For, for the next five minutes, I should be Yeah, this guy in it. All right. You, you keep going in it. Like I said, cutting out here, out here cutting WWF attitude era type promos in it. You know what I'm saying? But I can't even say nothing because I wanted you lot to I, win. You're, you were happy, man. You wanted us to win. Yeah, I wanted you to. I want to say that's a strong, happy is strong in it. You're the less, you was the lesser of two evils. That's what it, all it was in it. It was, it was a marriage of convenience. That's what it was. You know what I'm saying? We got married in it. That's what it was for that point in it. You know what I'm saying? It was a marriage of convenience. Like I needed a green card. That's what it was. But as you usual, Chelsea was very convenient from you. And you enjoyed football watching that happen. I said you'd feel things that you haven't felt under Ole this season. And this Chelsea guy, gave that to you. This guy. You might as well do the full 180 and just, you know, come over here, man. Oh my god, there we go. But yeah, Lewis is gonna continue the prop. But before we continue the show, if you're watching via the Twitter on the Periscope right now, please make sure you hit the retweet button and hit the like button. Vitally important you do that. Hit the retweet button, hit the like button. Make sure you follow myself. Make sure you follow Mr. Champions League winner 2021 over there and the Sarcasm City TV Twitter, all tagged in the tweet. If you are watching on Twitch, much appreciated. And please follow us on Twitch, Sarcasm City TV. The link is underneath this video in the description on youtube and if you're what and if you're watching on youtube as well please make sure you hit the like button vitally important you do that let's get them numbers up let's get them numbers up i know the chelsea fans gonna be here and the on, get those numbers up like we're getting the number of champions league trophies up let's go come on yeah, guys yeah. Smash get the, the likes like. yeah get the likes up make sure you share it across all the socials and subscribe to sarcasm city tv is road to 3k so make sure you hit the notification bell and lewis's channel carefree lewis is in the title as well it's in the title so if you want to make sure you subscribe over there and go hear more chelsea propaganda i will get to everyone in the comments big up and if you haven't seen agenda fc before it's where we just give a strong opinion on a topic of on a topic of our choice so i might pick one lewis might pick one or if you have a special guest they'll pick one and obviously we get your thoughts people in the comments and people watching back as well so as you can see from the title of this one you know it's not from me it is clearly from Lewis, who is gassed. And it was only right. It was Chelsea. With Chelsea winning the Champions League, it was Chelsea-based. So N'Golo Kante should win the Ballon d'Or if France win the Euros. N'Golo Kante should win the Ballon d'Or if France win the Euros. So you lot give us your thoughts on that. I'm going to let Lewis get himself together. You know what I'm saying? He's feeling himself in the shades. And what's it called? Give us your and let him give his full argument to that. But before we do that, I'm going to run through the comments. Keenan says, uh, Kante would just pull up in his mini and smile with his shi uh, shiny ballon d'or. Crofty CFC says, Tammy should, in my opinion. All uh, right, you lot are wild. <laughs> uh, MB's man said, man, man said that with chest as well. That is ridiculous. Man said it with chest. Uh, Kante has had some big performances in crucial games. His overall season has been there, hasn't been there. Ballon d'or standard says, MB's. Abdallah says, people, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get Flawless up to 100 likes for the stream. Yeah, man, get us up. Big up Ryan, who says, big up my guys, Flawless and Lewis. He said, Kante should win it even if he doesn't win the Euros. My name is Boston Jordan and Lewis. <clears throat> We'll soon find out. Legend Flawless and Legend Lewis. Big up, man. That's major compliments. Uh, Flawless, is this the new settings for your streams, bro? Yes, it is. Yes, this is the new oh, settings. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask what happened to like, the usual background. Yeah, yeah. Just new settings in it. Another room in my house. In it. You're sick of the United shot in the back. Here. Wait, what's that there? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, man. you see yeah. that. See how smooth that was. You get what I'm saying? And that. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Man. Never out here. You walked into that one. You get what I'm saying? No, nah, you're not, nah, but your, your position's fine. You're correct because you're hiding it. I didn't even you're see not, it two times. Be, yeah, because I have no idea. I don't know how to. I'm going to try and hang it here. Actually. Nah, it's fine, man. It's fine. It's perfect. Literally, like I can that. hang don't it on worry. there. I'm going to try that during the stream. Thank you. Uh, Abdallah says, Flores, right, now man. you have to. <laughs> have to call. I'm literally gonna do it during the stream. Flawless. Now you have to call Mount the real money mace. Come on. I did say I think it was Daniel, and I said if Mount scored or assisted, I will call him Money Mace till the start of next season. And he did get the assist in it. So yeah, man, I'll call him Money Mace for the time being and that. Therefore, he did what needed to be done for the greater good of the world. You know what I'm saying? And that all right. Uh, big up Flawless and Lewis says kind of devil who's watching on Twitch. Big up, big up Daniel. He says N'Golo Kante. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, RB says, big up, guys. 
Harris here is saying, no disrespect to Kante, but Lewandowski is hands down the Ballon d'Or favourite. It's not just his numbers, but Bayern have struggled without him. Are we going to get I into this? European definitely. Cup. Yes, we're going to get into this. Put your Champions uh, League on the table or duck out. <laughs> uh, Olu, uh Oluwasi says, pin this flawless where winning the Euros is coming home. Are you talking England? Are you an England fan? Please let me know. Please let me know. Uh, AC was quality in fairness. Yeah, he was good. The whole Chelsea team was good. Uh, Kante is without doubt one of the best midfielders of all time. 100%. But he's not better than Michael Ely. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. But he is quality. Nah, that's just a debate. Yeah, but they're both yeah, yeah, different yeah. anyway. Makalei is a DM, Kante's box yeah. to box. Yeah, he's a DM, DM and that. Yo, big up the mods already blocking the fake accounts. Love to you lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where we at? But two months ago, Chelsea fans were complaining about him. Ballon d'Or, Ballon d'Or shouts is over the top, says Naeem. Yeah, I, just com- about I complained about his final ball. That was just yeah. it. But even that's improved over the last month or two. Yeah, Abdallah says Kante could win it due to his popularity. No one hates him. Yeah, we'll get into all that. But yeah, Lewis. Nah, don't, don't realize it's Messi or Ronaldo that's not <laughs> winning and cancel the Ballon d'Or again. Lewis, you you take it away from it. So your thoughts? Well, not even your thoughts. This is your opinion. So why do you believe Kante should win the Ballon d'Or if France win the Euros? It's it's not really about uh the player to be honest. If we're okay. gonna really look at it, it, it's about what the team does and big games. Ballon d'Or isn't necessarily about who's been the best player over the entire year as much as we want to be honest about it. Whoever wins it has been one of the best players of the year, but there's always been the debate. Like I'm sure in the big Ronaldo and Messi debates, whenever they were going back and forth over the Ballon d'Or, it was leading up to what their teams won okay. or what they've done in the competition or where th- what big games they've turned up in or compared to which ones they haven't. Fucking... Um, Kante has turned up in big games throughout the year for us. Manchester United, Atletico Madrid, uh, Liverpool, Real Madrid, both legs, Champions League final. He's turned up in every single big game for us this season and he's left with a Champions League trophy. That's going to be a big pull in terms of the Ballon d'Or as compared to what you do in the tournament. Now, if he has a big part to play in France winning the Euros as well, why wouldn't he? Like, I can hear Lewandowski shouts. And to be fair, if Lewandowski wins it over Kante, can't really say too much about it. But if it's not Lewandowski, then I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be N'Golo Kante because he's had a key part to play in France, potentially winning the Euros. And he's had a massive part in Chelsea winning the Champions League. He's had one of the best individual seasons in Champions League history. Man raked up four Man of the Match awards in five games. Back to back against Real Madrid and in the Champions League final. And we're saying this guy doesn't have a shelter being the best player in the world right now. Nah, I can't hear it, man. Right now, Angolo Kante's form. This is like 17, 18 Angolo back again. So for me, if we, if they do win the Euros, he is in with a shout of winning the Ballon d'Or. Not saying he's going to outright win it, but his name should be involved in the final 10 at the very least. Should be even higher than that, if we're being honest. Who would be your... Who would be your I think we are Tottenham TV as well saying Conte. I really hope he don't join you guys. Like, you reckon, we're going to get onto that as well. We'll get onto that as well. Because obviously, as a Chelsea fan, I'd love to get your take on Conte and whether he does well at it's Spurs a, it's as well. A, Tottenham are doing the same thing Arsenal are doing, where they all keep coming for our scraps. But the thing with Conte, the, the, the thing I'm most worried about is, does Conte go and then Lukaku goes with him and then they sell Kane? Because we're after Kane or Lukaku. If both of them leave on the basis of this one deal, that's going to piss me off more. Conte as a manager, I think after one year, he's going to get pissed off with Levy and leave. So I'm not too worried about longevity or anything like that. It's just, we want to talk about, Conte is winning mentality because he Mm -hmm. doesn't accept failure from the board or the the players or himself. So the intensity that he's going to force out of that team, I think you could see a dangerous Spurs side. They're not going to say title winners or anything like that, but they'll be levels better than they were under Mourinho or towards the end of Poch's reign. I I just don't want to see it, though, because this guy is the definition of a serial winner. And unlike Jose, he hasn't had a few years off of that. He's always been on that upward trajectory. He won trophies at Juve, he won trophies at Chelsea, he won trophies at Inter Milan. He broke the Juventus monopoly. So he is more than capable of doing that at Tottenham as well. Which is why I'm not saying... People don't turn your noses up at Antonio Conte. And I wouldn't hate him either if he went to Spurs. But same way, I beg he don't go to Tottenham. I would really you not, don't Why would you it. not hate him because of what he did for your club? Is that what Exactly it is? that. 
I love okay. Conte too much. That 16 mm -hmm. 17 season was the best season I've had following Chelsea home and away. That was okay. magical. Some of the scenes and the passion that I've seen from this guy, he bled blue. I don't care about the issues of the board or anything like that. He loved the fans and he loved this club. So, to, if, even if you went to Tottenham, I would be able to look past it. I looked past it for Mourinho. I could look past it for Conte as well. But same way, please, no, I don't want to see it, man, because he would get them a trophy, even if it is a cup trophy or something like that. He will be able to get them through it because he takes all of those competitions seriously. Okay, no, nah, fair enough. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. D'Angelo here is saying, Kante should not win the Ballon d'Or. This trophy is losing its prestige if Kante wins. This is an all-season trophy. If Lampard was still in the job, would he even be in a conversation? I'll it's let you the, it's an all-year trophy, not an all-season trophy. If it's an all-year trophy, that means if it's an all-season trophy, I can hear what you're saying. All-season trophy, it isn't that. It's an all-year trophy. And throughout the year, Kante has been brilliant. Not the season. First half of the season, yeah, there was a bit of an iffy stage and everything like that. There was a Manchester City game as well. This one, nah, nah, nah. It's all year and he's had an amazing 2021 so far. So he's got to be up there. No, I, hear you. I hear what you're saying. Just to let people just to let people know, um, when it comes to the Ballon d'Or, I couldn't care less in it. But that shouldn't shock people who know me and have heard me speak. Like when I spoke on the Hall of Fame, and that's why the agenda, well, the agenda that, that show was me not caring about the Hall of Fame is the same with the Ballon d'Or. Like people... People um, hype it up and rate it highly. To me, whether you've won a Ballon d'Or or not has very little bearing on how highly I rate you as a player. How, like, is really low. Like, I really don't put too much stock in it whatsoever. I think it's just, it's the cherry on top of the cake. But guess what? I don't like cherries on my cake. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm looking at it. So when people say prestige... Maybe because maybe when, it was, when I'm growing up watching football, I paid it no attention. Like, I don't care if Messi, like, I don't know. I think Messi has more than Ronaldo, but that wouldn't sway me if Ronaldo had more than Messi. Not in the slightest. Mm. And we've and we've seen now, Levin, how other certain players should have won it and haven't won it. I think it was a year Lewandowski should have won it. And did they cancel it? I think it was last year, isn't it? Yeah, last year. It should have been his. It was last year. Like, that was it. That's what I'm saying. Big up to... Daniel I see Pochettino. them again. Yeah, you lot, Pochettino would have, would have won the Premier League if it wasn't for Antonio Conte as well. But that's the thing. Because you lot played more expansive football. We played more defensive football. We were able to churn out more wins with that. And I know you lot don't really like defensive football like that. But mm -hmm. I feel like if it's winning, you lot wouldn't care. You lot didn't care at the start of last season because you lot were defending. But you were also winning matches and you were top of the table. I think of Antonio Conte, he's more likely to keep you guys there. Like Jose Mourinho, after one bad defeat... Like, he really takes back all the creativity from the side and he just goes pragmatic. Conte doesn't necessarily go ultra-pragmatic like that. You lot are still going to be a strong counter-attacking team with him and I think you'll counter with pace. With the difference with Jose, he just didn't have confidence in your defence. I think jo I think Conte instills confidence in that defence that you guys have and also brings in players that he wants too. Your biggest problem, though, is keeping Conte happy because if he's not happy with the way your board is, then it's all falling apart. I hear that. Uh, just while I get to this super chat here from Timo, he says, Flawless, did I snore on your stream? See what happens when the yeah. Lakers get packed and you get a high level of stress. So for those that don't know, we did two NBA watch-alongs. Timo is a Lakers fan. Lakers got absolutely annihilated yesterday. They, they were 30 or 40 points down. Uh, Timo was stressed from the first quarter when they were like 10 points down. Then he ended up falling asleep on the stream. Don't worry though, you was muted. So don't worry. Like I would never put you on blast like that or like try and embarrass you like that. Like we was cracking joke about it, but like we we knew that hey, you were stressed. So it's okay. Plus we had a Suns fan on who the Lakers were playing, but he wasn't really rubbing it in. But yes, you did fall asleep. And then after the show, we're all talking and then he woke up just hella befuddled and that. You know, when someone just wakes up and they don't know what world they're in or what's going on. And he just woke up. I was like, yo, get some sleep. <laughs> we'll catch you tomorrow and that. But big on my guy, Timo. Hilarious and that. Hilarious. Out here shooting a shot at Gyal as well. Oh, it made, oh, it's so funny. Go watch the end of that stream, people. Yeah, I tell you, off air, fam. <laughs> Go for it, man. I tell you off air, remind me to tell you. Oh, Jesus, I've not laughed like that in a minute. I was legit in tears to the, at the end of that game. But big up my guy, Timo, each and every time. Where we at? Let me get to some more of the comments. Kind of Devil says, Chelsea, I won Champions League away from equaling our three. I'm fully aware. I'm fully aware of that. Fully, fully Next aware. Yeah, bro, don't you worry. 
I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned. The only thing we've got in the, in the bank is our league titles. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Flawless still has an Oli shirt hanging in the background. It's actually not in the background. Man moved it. See, this is why Lewis my G in it. Because you couldn't see it there in the back. I thought, yo, let me move it yeah, here. Yeah, to be this fair, that's how Lewis that can run. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'm gonna get I uh, see you lot as well. Doherty, like Conte's got his work done with that, brother. I can't lie. Yeah. Aurier, that's your guy if he's playing, but fuck <laughs> Doherty, man. We go get further into that. Kind of devil says it's a sunny day floor. Let's open them curtains. If I open the curtains, light's gonna shine in, and you ain't gonna be able to see me. It's gonna be hella glaring. So that's why I had to close the curtains. As you can see, you know what I'm saying? They're blackout curtains, you can see the light's still trying to get through. Um, Umar saying, What the F happened to the chat? Why what happened? Uh Kante Probably could win. Famous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, mod stay on top of that. Uh, Kante could win due to his popularity. No one hates him. Yeah, Lauren, I have no idea why people would make a fake account when I'm here. I'm going to be <laughs> real with you. I have never seen more fake accounts than flawless fake accounts. It's He's always it, your it? fake accounts. <laughs> it's always my fake account. Jen, no, I don't even see Rants ones anymore. People just on my case, fam. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I did. I clearly offended someone or said saying about Oli that people don't like. That's what it is, isn't it? Or people might oh, hate the fact. No, I imagine it's Ole Alters. Yeah, man. yeah, it's Ole. Yeah. Oh, it's Ole Inners, fam. Ole Inners, my bad. Ole Inners. People wear and people nah, hate the fact. People that. hate the fact that they see me working with you. You know what I'm saying? They see me working with Rance. They see me working with Saeed. They see me working because they see me everywhere as well. In it, people hate that. You know what I'm saying? That they see me everywhere across all. You see me working with all types of different fans. You see me working with Hamez before. You know what I'm saying? And that. so it is what it is. It is what it is. Where we at? Where we at? Let's get to some more of the comments. Hey, you lot, get the likes up as well, man. Get the likes up because we're only at 26 and we got over 40 people watching across all platforms. So make sure you do that, man. Get Please hit the like button as soon as you land. Here we go. Uh, Ryan still trolling. It says, Flawless and Lewis, just remember the most important thing. My club has more European cups. Ryan. Than club has combined. Go on, fam. Ryan. I let you get to No this. one asked, man. Yeah, no one asked. On a level, nobody asked, man. Keep who, your and... six European cups. We ain't taking it away from you. Let us enjoy yeah. our two, man. It's our moment. Let us have our yeah. fucking moment, man. Come on. And imagine only having 19 league titles in it. Could never be my club. Embarrassing. 19 league titles and one in 31 years. Embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Could never be my club. Never, ever be my club, Ryan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Could never be my club and that. Um, Flawless has a new word, befuddled. That's twice I've heard him say it today. Now I just use it when I'm, I was confused by your tweet, so that's why I used it. And then people started chatting shit as well. So is what it is. We move. Um, let's continue. But Flawless, weren't you singing 21 in 21? Find me, find me where I was saying that you were telling me 21 in 21. Prime, you was telling me Oli could win the league and that. You know what I'm saying? That's on you. You were the only rival fan. You were the only rival fan I know saying Oli can win the league. And the only United fan I know who said Oli could win the league was Jeremiah in it. So that's between you two. Definitely. But yeah, back to the topic at hand. So I'll give my thoughts on it. Should Kante win the Ballon d'Or if, or should he be, should he win the Ballon d'Or if France win the Euros? How can you look against him? If you pick up the Euros, pick up a Champions League winner's medal, who has had a better season? He just like, got home, it, like, he win Copper America or something. But he didn't win a league title and he didn't win Champions League. So even if he you wins Copper America, Ballon d'Or care. They just want anything yeah. to want Messi or Ronaldo into it. But you say Messi is about you know what? Because he's so poor in finals for his country, he is old one still because he is 0 in four in international finals. So if he gets to a fifth final, he'll probably win it. To be honest, maybe it depends. I'm, I'm not sure yeah. about the Argentina squad because if he shame. goes zero. Yeah, if he goes zero in five, I don't want to hear nothing in that. Imagine being a goal and you owe in four, but that's a whole other conversation. But yeah, in regards to N'Golo Kante, I don't know who's had a better who's had a better season. If you win the champion, you've won the biggest cup competition for your club, and now you've gone on and won the international tournament. Like, how can you look past that? And he's been a key part in that. Take as well. into account, we might. I think the Club World Cup is is our summer tournament now. I'm not sure when they put it. I'm not sure. Someone in the comments let us know about the Club World Cup. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please let us know. And you lot continue to get your thoughts in as well on the topic. Oh, no, it's Friends. in December. It's in the Okay. Oli could win the league. Didn't say that he will. Can't draw me out that easy. You're the only person saying he could. My point still stands. No one else believed it apart from you. You know what I'm saying? But Oli's your man's and that. You know what I mean? Uh, flawless, you said you're on it till the wheels fall off. So yeah, you was on it. Yeah, because I knew the wheels was gonna fall off. I'm gonna ride that shit. I'm shameless. I said that. I'm gonna ride it till the wheels fall off. Lauren, you're an Arsenal fan. If you lot were top of the league in January, you do the same. 
know what I'm saying? And uh, you'd give your left arm to be in, in the top four in January. Never mind frigging, <laughs> never mind top of the top of the league. It's in Japan, says CFC Atkin, talking about the Club World Championship. But yeah, with the Oli thing, I rolled it to the wheels fall off. I know that manager's washed, isn't it? It's only Prime and Jeremiah who backed him. I know he couldn't win it. Sky could even win the Europa League and you lot were talking about Premier Leagues. But we move. But we move. But yeah, back to it. Who else is in the running? You could say Lewandowski because he scored a hell of a lot of goals. They won um, They won the Bundesliga as well. What other players? And let us know in the comments. What other players would you put in contention? So not win. Give us your top five. If people. Portugal win the Euros, you could make a shout for either Ronaldo or... No, they finished fourth. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. Ronaldo's out of that. You could make a shout for Ruben Diaz, but I'd still be saying this guy bottled it on the biggest stage, so I don't want to hear it. Ruben Diaz. All right, so we'll put him in. So we've got Kante, we've got Ruben Diaz, we've got Lewandowski. We need two more. Who else? Someone's saying Mbappe. Um, I can't really say for because they didn't win their league. What do you so, mean, man, about Mbappe? Yeah, and I'm a big fan of Mbappe. Come on, man. Um, Who is it? Someone. If Belgium win, I would give Lukaku a shout. You gotta argue it. You can argue it because they've won their league, and then you've gone on and won your Euros as well. So you could say he's. That's a shout. Lukaku yeah, I'd definitely. Say Lukaku would be a big shout. Lukaku's a shout. Ruben Diaz, who you mentioned, John Stones. If England, what about John Stones? If England, man said Bruno, get out of here, man. <laughs> what about what about John Stones? If England win the Euros, they've won. The, they got to a Champions League final. They won the Premier League. Then they go on and win the Euros. Nah. I wouldn't say Can- John Stones. <laughs> Cancelo for Portugal? Maybe. But Cancelo? do you feel like fullbacks even get that sort of recognition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't. They don't Unless get that you're a highly marketed one like Trent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I'm trying to think. So we've got... All we've got is Kante, Lewandowski, Lukaku. Obviously, this is dependent on your roles as well, people. Ruben Diaz, that's four. Someone's saying Pepe. Pepe. What? Why Pepe? He ain't, he ain't being serious. He ain't being yeah. serious. Nah, you're being trolled to that one about Nicholas yeah. Pepe, bro. Oh no, I thought you were talking about the Portuguese Pepe, not the. Ah, now nah, you're talking about Nicholas Pepe. Yeah, His yeah, aim, yeah. bro. I know this shameless guy. <laughs> what did you say, flawless? If England, what? I'm just saying if. I'm not saying they will win it. I'm just saying if they. Yeah, do, if England win the Euros, it's Mason Mount that's getting the shout. Mason Mount has had an exceptional season. So's John Stones. Yeah, you know I me. You lot are laughing. I'm being deadly serious. If Mount wins you know, Young Player of the Year, Champions yeah. League, and the Euros. I don't want to hear it. Prime saying Benzema. I can't say Benzema because Real Madrid didn't win anything. But I suppose is it your team or is it individual? Because individual, he carried them. He carried them as an individual. He scored like what 25, 26 goals, and the nearest, the nearest, the next goal scorer down was six. So he carried them. Fucking hell. Yeah, it was Casemiro. Yeah, yeah. He I might need, I might need Benzema to come to Chelsea with this sort of carry job up front. We need yeah. that. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, Benzema's yeah, Benzema's quality. Benzema's quality, but they didn't win anything. Right, but again, if Denmark win the Euros, it is what it is. Oh, he's going to drop a stinker at the Euros. and I might do some demo. Watch crazy, Euros. Man. If he is, it's going to be that bum, wacky Anderson next to him causing that. Ain't going to be fucking Christensen. Oh, you mean the best centre-back in... The best Danish centre-back in West London? All right, I hear yeah, you. Christensen okay. won the Champions League round his neck and not the relegation. Yeah. We might mind when he started on the bench, but we move. Um, and who got brought <laughs> on to save the day? Yeah, only because a man got injured. Uh, surprise, but true, say I could play up front again, me against friggin' Sterling. I could play in defense in a back three against Sterling and the bro. Anyway, and these frauds, you know, what I'm saying folding and that. Uh, I'm suppose you're <laughs> a big fraud sesh, massive fraud. I'm sesh. joking, people. I rate all three of those players. I'm clowning around. Surprise, you're not saying Bruno flawless. I'm not that shameless. Why would I put Bruno in it? I ain't a Bruno stan like that. Argentina win it, Copa America, and it's messy. Why? Because he won Copa America. They failed, they got knocked out in the first knockout round of the Champions League. They finished third in the league. Why is Messi getting shouts? Why is Messi getting shouts? Because it's Messi. Yeah, like you lot are wilder than that. Why? That's like me saying, yeah, I'm a big Ronaldo fan, but he shouldn't get a shout. Someone's saying Suarez, hey, if you're Uruguay win Copa America, he's in with a shout. Yeah. After winning the league, and if he goes on to win Copa America, definitely. Definitely. 100%. Um, Argentina not winning Copa America Neymar could if Brazil win mm. nah. but again it depends are we talking what your team wins or are we talking are we didn't talking win the French League got knocked out of the Champions League oh, I couldn't hear it 
Yeah, I can't hear it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Prime. See, this is why people don't take you seriously, Prime. Because you said Ross Messi is actually a bum, you know, because you're always trolling with this nonsense. That's why. Are you going to call Messi a bum? That's a Lionel Messi, you know. You know what I'm saying? I know I give him stick. So when we had that Sket Courtois goal. This guy. One of your best goalkeepers ever, man. You know me? You tell me you don't wait Courtois. Oh, dirty snake. His best memory in Stamford Bridge was getting beaten by a two-yard screamer by Timo Werner. Ah, it's mad. Uh, Lion Sniper says, you're doing an England watch along. If you do, I'll give you a couple. What? What's Jelson's? What's a Jelson? No clue. No clue. No. Let us know, innit? That's What's a Jelson? Is that a drink? Are you trolling? What is that? I'm just unsure. Um, will I be doing England watch alongs? Probably. I don't know what Euro games. Well, I'll probably do a couple of England ones. Maybe if they go to like the last stages, like quarters, semis, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I know you're not trolling prime in it. That's the worst thing in that. Davey Fisher here says, I thought people were joking when they said Kante should win Ballon d'Or. He was shit the first half of the season, but no one remembers because that is Kante. I'll let you respond to that, Lewis. Uh, shit first half of the season. Yeah, but the Ballon d'Or is a year trophy. It's not about the season. It's about the year. That's the thing. We, when Messi won the Champions League in the Ballon d'Or in 2012, it wasn't because of what he did in 2011. It was about what he did in 2012. So okay. that's the thing. If it was a season trophy, it would be awarded now at the end of the season. It's a yearly trophy. Oh, I hear what you're saying. I hear that. CFC Atkin says, Ronaldo with more big missed chances than goals, you know, but he was still top goal scorer in Syria. And he's 36. Let's not forget that. He's the only he's the only 36-year-old who's expected to carry his team. He's 36 years old in that. Messi's day free and people give We got that. a 36 year old that carries our team. Who's that? Thiago Silva. Yeah, but he's a, it's different. He's a defender in that. And he's playing in a back three. Ronaldo's playing with Perlo tax. That's why the manager got sacked. And they still won a trophy and finished in the top four. They did more than one. Their celebrations after finishing in the top four, though, were a bit. Yeah. Because Perlo was, they probably relieved. Like Perlo didn't, um, what's it called? Drag us down to that. There's a reason he got sacked and Perlo won a trophy. Because he won Copa Italia. Shouldn't have sacked Maurizio. Mm. But I suppose they're getting Allegri back. So that's how they'll look at it. Oh, he means Gleason's gone round in circles to come back to the same manager they had the first time. Yeah, they shouldn't have sacked him. I don't know why. Kind of devil says, flawless. Um, where are we at? Flawless England are playing Austria tonight. Adi, I really couldn't care less. Friendlies and I couldn't care less. Didn't what even know what's off? happening until today. Eight o'clock. No like I might do a watch along. I might not. I don't yeah. know. I got. I got a show at seven, so it'll probably run till eight. Uh, who's everyone represent? Who, who have? Who's everyone's teams representing the Euros? Lewis and Flawless plus the comments. What do you mean? Who's everyone's teams representing the Euros? Who's everyone backing in the Euros? Ah, to win it or who we who we're supporting to win it? I think France. both basically. Yeah, to win it, I would say. France, who am I supporting? Nobody. There's no one there that I'm like, yeah, I'm supporting out and right. I'm just watching as a fan. What about you, Lewis? I'd like to see England win. I'm not going to cry if they don't win. I'm just going to watch it, maybe try and use it for as much content as possible, and then wait for it to be finished so that we've got a month left before the season restarts. Okay, pretty much that's All it is, is just a month of football when there wasn't meant to be football. So I'll take that and run. Yeah, that Jabari says Yomaz is 36 carrying a team and Ronaldo's carrying Juventus. He carried them to top four and carried them to a Coppa Italia. That's a successful season. Flawless is Oli better than Perlo. I've not seen enough of Perlo to know. No, he's not because Perlo still won a trophy. You know what I'm saying? Still won a trophy. Even in his worst season, he still managed to win a trophy. But that is hefty on Ronaldo as well. Davy Fisher saying Kante was playing bad for such a long period of time and no one talked about it. Fair enough, he's been superb recently. But like Lewis said, it's a year. Oh thing, my gosh. It? I've done a fucking poll asking for whether I should okay. do the England watch along or not. I've had more no's than yeses and people telling me to watch France instead. Who's France playing? Who are France playing? That's what it is. Let me check. If the game's decent, I might just watch that instead. Yeah. Uh, Leon. Leon, I always say Leon. Lion Sniper says, are you mad flawless? You know the vibes. The French team are going to be on Instagram. Oh, my days. I'm going to be so gassed. Um, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. And like I said, I'm not supporting France. I'm just saying that's who I think will win the tournament. I'm not supporting anybody. I just <clears throat> I just watch international tournaments as a fan. And when it's World Cups, 
about the African nations, oh, the Caribbean nations. Well. Where's, is it France v Wales? That might be decent still. When it comes to international tournaments, that's who I back. You know what I'm saying? If it's a World Cup, I back. If one, if there's two or three African nations, I back them. Whatever African nation is there, I back. And if a Caribbean nation gets there, I back them. Well, that's as far as it goes in that. Um, flawless, your English though, so back Southgate. Just because I'm English, don't mean I have to back England. What does that mean? Yeah, like I'll be real. I don't care enough. Yeah, that don't run and in. When like this man doing well. All I start hearing is it's coming home from everyone in the country, and I want to just rip my ears out. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, and that. Um, so I'm not backing nobody just because I'm English and that. Just because I was born here, don't mean I have to back the country like the team. Like, no, I don't support England in any sport, whether it's football, it's whether it's cricket. Enough. Whether it's boxing, yeah, because you're not born into it. Like, I'm a born, like, this whole Manchester United thing, for those who don't know, the reason why I'm a United fan is because I was born into this. My whole family's United fans, isn't it? You know I me? Mean? I got one aunt who's a City fan, but that's because she literally lived in front of Main Road. My Main Road was literally behind her house. So that's why, but minus that, everyone, the generation above me, my generation, the generation below me, all Manchester United fans. I didn't get a choice. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get no choice. The same way with Lewis and talking about Chelsea, like you grew up near the ground, didn't it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just picked but, the closest club to me. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. And I bet when you have kids, boom. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be Chelsea fans, isn't it? They won't have a choice. There you go, innit? it? That's how I, I went. I tell you got to make a choice when you're young and it's nothing, no pressure or nothing. But if you say the wrong answer, you're getting adopted. Yeah, exactly. That's how I run it. It is what it is. You know I'm Sorry, I'm not raising Arsenal fans. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Or at least yeah. not well. Yeah. Yeah. And Lion Sniper says, hopefully Barbados get there. We need to kiss my thing. Barbados ever make it to a World Cup, I'll be gassed. I'll be hearing the full kit and that. You know what I'm saying? Socks, everything, shorts, the whole nine in it. No, I guess that the, the, the fucking Africa Cup of Nations again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, fam. You gotta enjoy them things. You know what I'm saying? So if Barbados I'm or Jamaica right. ever made it to a World Cup, Lord, I'll be hearing full kit. You know what I'm saying? If, it's, if it was Jamaica, I'd be hearing the string vest and that. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine. Oh my God. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. 100%. Spain versus Germany final, says Harris. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. See, even Ryan here is saying, I support Pakistan and cricket. Prime, no England fan rate Southgate. That is true. But even if England were the best team in the world, I wouldn't support them in that. Like, I just have no interest in it whatsoever. Same, I want all the African countries to always win. Last World Cup, I was Nigeria. See, yeah, that's how I look at it still. Uh, you man better not shamelessly celebrate if England win it. Man said, the fact that you think England can win it is crazy, number one. But true, say you back Oli. So that's not a surprise. And two, I wouldn't celebrate it because they're not my country. That's not I my team. I will celebrate it for Mason Mount and Reese James. Well, my okay, English man. brothers. And that's it. Yeah. See, look, Prime, I rate Southgate, not going to lie. Mad. You know what I'm saying? So you're literally yeah 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 that's all you man yeah that's your chelsea don't you know you need to talk to your man's lewis still you know what i'm saying i'm good <laughs> <laughs> flawless coming to the watch along with chin pads facts man flawless slight sock sliding in his beijing kit 100 percent knee slides the whole nine and the, the whole nine if jamaica or barbados ever make it 100 percent. at least my country is winning international tournaments who's your country who is it prime who do you who do you back is it island who do you actually back? I'm legit asking. I'm legit asking. I'm trying to guess. Yeah, I'm trying to guess. Flawless even got the sock tape. Facts kind of devil. Man will get the sock tape that matches the colour. I make sure it's yellow. If it's Barbados or if it's Jamaica, I make sure it's black tape. You know what I'm saying? He's always saying he's Nigerian, so he backs Nigeria. Fair enough. What's the last trophy for you lot one? Was it one of the African nations or something? Ethiopia. <laughs> no, no, no. Nigeria. No, nah, not Ethiopia. Oh. Nigeria. I was going to say about us winning anything. Come on, man. We do the Olympics. We don't do football. Yeah. Oh, it's a complete side note. Lewis, WWE. Yeah, bro, I've right. seen that, man. The releases are madness. Yeah. That yeah, guy was meant to be one of their lifers. I'm still shocked by it, but I guess we'll go AEW or something. That'll be interesting. Let's see what, <clears throat> see what happens, definitely. Zane says, more like Mikel Southgate. Man, you lot ain't having it. You ain't having it. Why isn't Lewis doing a Germany versus Denmark watch along for he loved AC? That's a fairly point, actually. Good question. You said Denmark are playing. All right, cool. Yeah. One sec. That might be more <laughs> my watch along sorted. There you go. We may have sorted that out. Prime says the African Cup of Nations. You man can't chat to me. I don't have an African team I support. Is that on now TV? What are you talking about, Prime? I don't have an African team I support. What are you on about? 
You know what I'm saying? I don't have no horse in that race. So I'm, I'm befuddled by that. Uh, flawless with the messy disrespect. He's been brilliant this season. But again, we're back to the point and the whole Ballon d'Or. What are we talking about? What is it? What is it actually based on? Is it based on individual or is it based on what your team won? Because it is an individual award. It's so both you could just when it should be individual. Item. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like if it's both, yeah, Messi, all right, he, did, he had incredible numbers, but so did Ronaldo. Ronaldo was top goal scorer in Serie A and his team won a trophy. What so trophy? then does he have a shout? Copper of time? Ah, uh, cup competition. I can't hear that. Yeah, serious. Like that, that Champions League, hella overrated, fam. Well, you know, we're moving. That. You know That's the biggest cup competition, though. That's a huge <laughs> difference. I knew you were going to try and spin it like that. You cannot <laughs> take the shine out of the Champions League. Don't be nah, an the Champions League's quality. Nah, nah, the Champions League's quality. I congratulated you, did I not? You know what I'm saying? I congratulated you on the day, on the night. Yeah, no, Arsenal you. fans still congratulate us and then tell us London is red with the same breath. Nah, London's blue. London's blue. Right. Tell that to them, bro. Blue. I've told them. You know what I mean? London, to me, London was blue before this. This just confirmed it. This is doubled down. London was blue before Chelsea won their second Champions League. But they now have two trophies and you don't have one in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because people will say, oh, United have three European trophies and Liverpool have six. But yeah, we have three. That's the whole difference. If we had zero and Liverpool had two, then we couldn't chat to them. What I'm saying, but the fact we have three, we have pedigree in Europe. We still want, we still have the second most in the country, and we have one more league title than them as well. And they've won one league title in 31 years, so you know, bigger than them. And they're lucky that Ancelotti's gone back to, to Madrid, otherwise, just like London, Merseyside would have been blue. But we move. Dan Levitt here says, oh, Old Black 18 clean sheets, 25 goals conceded all season. That's a shout. What do you reckon about that? Old Black, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, he's at Slovakia though, so they ain't gonna do anything in the Euros. Yeah, that's true, but they did win La Liga, and that is impressive. That's very impressive. I won't even lie. Twenty-five goals conceded all season. That's mad. So you just don't ever see goalkeepers getting that recognition, anyway, though. They should get that recognition. Hundred percent, they should get that recognition. Olawasi says, flawless pin pin this is coming home. We're winning the Euros. Who's this we stuff England winning the Euros? Yeah. See, All right. Every, everyone just says it's coming home. See why well, I can't be asked here in England yeah. win anything. This would just be ringing in my ears all summer. Yeah, it's mad. Aiden here says, Yeah, but flawless Ronaldo being the top scorer doesn't necessarily mean he's the best player on the pitch. Stat uh, stats suggest he's had 10 man of the matches this season compared to Messi's 30 man of the matches. Both have the same goals. Fair enough, then. Fair enough, but one won a tr wait. Messi won the Copa del Rey, did he not? So they did the same in terms of what their team won. None of them won a league title. Barcelona finished third, Juventus finished fourth. Both went out in the Champions League at the same time. I think I think it was the same um, the same round. So mm. yeah, but to me, you have to. It has to be based on trophies as well. Messi got the Copa del Rey. Might get Copa America. That's brilliant numbers and performances. Come on, flawless. Are we? Are we really? Is that really enough? So winning the Spanish FA Cup and the Copa America, is that enough to win you a Ballon d'Or alongside good numbers? Is Man said Edward to... Mendy is a shout for Ballon d'Or. That, hmm. Is he? Hmm. Least is goals conceded for a Champions League winning goalkeeper in history. Over 25 clean sheets for Chelsea this season. Saved 32 out of 33 shots on target in the Champions League. No, 32 out of 35 shots on target. We have a save percentage of 91.4%, which is the highest ever recorded in the Champions League. Ooh. Ooh. Might be a shout, you know. We might be in with a shout. He might Edouard be. Mendy for Ballon d'Or. Oof. Now, we um, know goalies don't get the recognition they deserve, but that would be a sight. <laughs> Chelsea Ranger 96 has Lewis getting at AC Penitentiary. Denmark's there already for tonight. Is that true? Just realized I could potentially be inducting Havertz and Werner into the AC penitentiary. Yeah, that is mad. That. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's mad. Havertz you gotta on. You got you gotta put him on the same wing as uh, Hazard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they can both get the special wing. Yeah, man, but the Henny C and all and all them things. Yeah, you yeah, know what? That can run. We'll call it the Champions League winners wing or something like that. Yeah, oh, this guy and his propaganda. Uh, Fast and Furious 8 in July, right? Timo is 9. It's Fast and Furious 9. 
That's out. I can't wait for it still. Uh, kind of devil says these options are dead. What's happened to football? Football just fell off. That's all it is. Football is not what it was. Off. Chelsea's lifted it. Come on, man. Oh my God. Edward no, Bendy, N'Golo Kante, Andreas Christensen, Mason Mount. These are all great options for Ballon d'Or winner. No, listen, dickhead. I'm talking about football in general. And that. I'm not talking about Chelsea in particular. I'm talking about individual players all across the ball, like an overall. Are you saying not Chelsea. Ballon d'Or options are dead? No. Nah, we've said Mason Mount. We've said fucking Edward Mendy. We've said Christensen. That's three great options off the bat. The title says N'Golo Kante, one of the greatest midfielders of this generation. These options aren't dead. Oh, my God. We just make the other options look dead. That's all. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah. I don't even know what to say to that. Your shameless prop. Man said Mount, Kante, Mendy. Who else? Who else we got? Christensen. You got fifth, Thiago Silva. You know what I'm saying? Ben Chilwell, best options. left back of all time. Thiago Silva, you know one of the greatest centre backs of all time. Yeah. Chilwell, one of the greatest left backs of all time. Ashley Cole, who? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I wouldn't say Ashley Cole, who. I was Fair just enough. saying, like, he's doing a good job of filling his mentor's boots. Okay. He's doing a yeah. great job. Reese James, one of the best exports out of Cobham. Is it Cobham? Is that how you, yeah, you say it? right. Yes. <laughs> Reese James, Chil- he is the legend. Get me Cho Hive or No Hive. You know what I mean? It's a shout out to Shades. You, know you already saying? know. <laughs> this guy is Man's oh, 20 man. years old. He's got the Champions League trophy. Where's Greenwoods? Yo, Oli Tax. That's where Greenwoods is. You know what I'm saying? He should be in that competition. Anyway. Cho he managed to outlast him. Lampard Tax. It is, isn't it? And Greenwood will outlast. I will guarantee Greenwood will outlast. Um, What's it called? Oli Tax, 100%. Dan Levitt here. You lot continue to get your questions in on Ballon d'Or and this topic and anything else you want to add any other agendas, definitely. Have you guys been watching the under-21s Euros? The quality of skills and aggressive football is mad, especially Portugal semi-finals tomorrow. I had no idea the Euros was under-21s was going on. I had no idea. What are you saying, Lewis? Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were doing too too many watch and shit like that. No, I had no idea. I had no idea where we are. Uh, Daniel saying money, Mason Mount. Davy Fisher saying I was over the moon to see Chelsea win the final and play great football since Lampard left, but no way do any of their players deserve the Ballon d'Or. Thoughts on that, Lewis? Over the moon to see Chelsea in the final play great football. No way doing. Why not though? We won the Champions League. We won the most prestigious trophy in club football, and we did it in Wait. dominating fashion. So why wouldn't some of our key players be put up there for that award? Hmm? Unless we're downplaying the Champions League. Is that what we're doing? Are we downplaying the most prestigious trophy in club football? <sighs> Big up Maybe from not. So I don't see any reason why our players shouldn't be nominated. Yeah, Kante is a shout, especially if they win the if they win the Euros, he should win it. To be honest, in a year base, you've won the Euros and you've won the Champions League, and that's why Diaz would be in with a shout if Portugal win the Euros because you've won the Premier and League. He could have and a club World Cup by the end of the year too if he plays yeah. his cards right. Uh, you have to you have to give him full credit. Chris here says, big up from Cyprus. Actually, Chelsea winning that actually exposed Oli and our team more. Manager only for six months. Dig that. Hey, Chris, when I say that, I get, what's it called? I get criticised in it and get called negative for saying that. But what you said is spot on. I said this. I had people arguing with me on this channel about Oli being better than Tuchel. I mean, you, I think you lot were in fifth at the time and was having a debate and the people were saying, oh, I wouldn't take Tuchel. I bet you lot would say Tuchel now. Nobody's saying that now. Everybody's hella quiet. Everyone's silent. Hey, both Robin managers went to European finals. Yeah, and one of them won and one lost. Rashford you talking about? You talking about? And who kept Rashford on for two hours? Yeah, that's your manager still. I can't yeah, 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 exactly. You can't even spin that one, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that you can't even spin. That I one. really tried to think of something. I was like, yeah, you know what? That 100 minutes was a fuckery, man. If two yeah, man, did that, two did that. I was saying this though. One won and one didn't. And one, one, I wasn't even him. concentrating on the Europa League final, and I still felt I still clocked out 100 minutes. Like this guy ain't even made a sub yet. What? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the guy. You get me? You you lot try to tell me? Yeah, he's good in it. Back the process. Give him one he, more. He's season. all right. Maybe next season he'll make a substitution earlier in the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get any, we even get into a final. We might finish bottom of our group depending on what we get. I uh, might have finally beaten that semi-final cast though. He did. He beat the semi-final curse. Now he got to beat the final curse. But check this one out. We went out. We lost a final, a semi-final, a quarter-final all in the same season. Progress? 
what losing a quarter final, a semi final, and a final. It was kind of like we struggled at yeah, the final. From a quarter to semi, then the semi to a final. No, 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 it wasn't like that. We lost the FA Cup quarter final, we lost the Carabao Cup semi final, and we lost the ah. Europa League final. Oh, yeah, well, no progress. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. see, yeah, we got yeah, went and so we right. went backwards and then double forwards. That could still technically be progress. Yeah, it isn't. Um, nah, Oli didn't lose. That's Emery, that's Unai Emery tax. Good evening. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, okay. What's Emery tax? We never got to deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serious, because you had a serious manager in charge. Tell that to it's our fans. About... They were hated sorry for no reason. Maybe. What was it? Was it the football? It was the football, though. That why they disliked him. He was just predictable, but his football wasn't really the problem. Like, I always said he needed a year for sorry ball to really get into the players' heads and for them to understand the system. Mm. And the fans just didn't want to give him that year worth of patience. Right, 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 right. They didn't, they didn't have no base. See, our fans are too patient, but the only reason why they're too patient is because they like this manager. They like this manager as a player. They have that. Our waveform was shocking. Like I think we lost about six away's on the bounce, Ooh. Ooh. and they weren't even like just quiet ones. It was like we lost two nil to Arsenal, then four nil to Bournemouth, then six nil to City, then two nil to Everton. It was rough. Oh, was that the Bournemouth get the Bournemouth uh, season when Bournemouth yep. slapped you up four nil? Bournemouth and City in back to back weeks. Oh, 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 that was oh. a rough month. Then we lost to you guys in the cup, and I think it was the Zappa Costa for Aspi substitution that really turned the fans over. They're like, nah, get out. Oh, uh, Marshall says flawless. If Klopp and Tuchel were available, who would you like to see at United? I take I take Tuchel over Klopp, but I take either or because they're both very good managers. But since Klopp has managed Liverpool, it's kind of it's kind of got a stain. I don't want anyone or anything from them. You know what I'm saying? And that, so that's what it is. Like I'm not with it. Big up MB in the building. He says, "Big up man like Carlton Banks. Even if Kante don't win the Euros, he still deserves the Ballon d'Or." In in my opinion, if he doesn't win the Ballon d'Or, it's just corrupting a par- uh, popularity contest. So yeah, he's with you in that. Uh, flawless, people, flawless people think. 50 to 60 goals a year is normal. Messi is producing super superhuman numbers. He is first. Oh, facts. 100%. Just because I just get onto Messi because you Messi stands getting you get me getting your feelings about it. So this is why I just go at it. But I think he's quality. He's one of the best players of all time. One of the best players of all time. Without question. Prime says, our fans didn't want to give Sarri a year, but they, want, they wanted to get relegated with Frank. Absolute dickheads. Pardon my language. It's calm, Prime. And that's what Tell him again. Tell him again. The reason why I said that's hard fan base. Swear that's what it down. Is. Replace Manchester United. I mean, replace Sarri with Oli. It's the same. There's still fans, fans that would have said, Yeah, there's fans that said they would have followed Frank to League One and League Two. I'd be like, well, go follow a League One or League Two club then if he goes and manages that. A fucking yeah. idiot. Think I want to see Chelsea. We've just won the Champions League and you're talking to me about championship and that. Fuck off, man. You Thank say you we're bad for the club. You ain't got a clue about the club. Yeah. Taking liberties from that's what it is. People are like that with Oli, don't or give him one more season. He's our worst manager post Fergie. Get me, Mourinho won two trophies. Yes, he's our worst manager post Fergie. He's worse than Moyes, and Moyes was terrible. Over Van Gaal, Van Gaal won a trophy. FA Cup, though. Van Gaal won a trophy. Yeah, but. Conte won the FA Cup in his last season. Like, I celebrated that for five minutes. Yeah, but the thing is with Van Gaal, I'm not saying Van Gaal was good. I wanted both of them managers gone. I wanted, I didn't want Moyes in the first place. I wanted Van Gaal gone. I wanted Mourinho gone. But they're all better than Oli. Mourinho won two trophies. Van Gaal won a trophy. And the football was equally as bad. The football was equally as bad. But at least with Van Gaal, we were slapping top six teams. Like he came with a plan there. Like when we turned and when one matter turned Anfield into one field. Things like that. And I'm not a fan of this guy, Van Gaal, but he was, he's better than Oli. He wins the Europa League this season. Both of them do. Klopp or Van Gaal. Klopp or Van Gaal. Mourinho or Van Gaal would decide. He's terrible. And people still are just... He spent 200 million, 300 million. Out what about Moyes? Moyes was terrible. But because he, he was only here seven months or however long it was, he didn't have time to really make it that bad. And as you can see what he's doing at West Ham, he's clearly a better manager. Moyes was awful. He was never the guy. Moyes was never, ever the guy. But is he worse than Oli? 100%. I mean, is Oli worse than him? Yes. I think Moyes does a better job. Bad. Fair enough, then. Yeah, Van Gaal is your, yeah, Van Gaal is your best manager, Paul Fergie. He just didn't have the players. Yeah, but his football was awful. 
It's not like he's much better now, but his football was absolutely shocking. Yeah, it second really was. season, there was nothing there. It's shot, yeah, it was awful. It was shocking. MB here says, yo, Flawless Ryan started this agenda. Conte or Klopp? Huh? Go on, I'll let you answer first, innit? That's an interesting one. Ryan put this out on Twitter. Who's the better manager, Conte or Klopp? I know what you're going to say, but state your reasons as to why. I'm not even sure, to be honest, but... I think Conte is more of a winner. Hmm. Um, Klopp's a great manager as well. This is the thing. But both can be predictable too. You're saying it is close. Let me pull up. I'm going to pull up both their stats. Keep going, fam. I'm not too sure. A few years ago, it wouldn't even be a debate, but it's because we haven't really seen a switch up in Klopp since. Especially with the bad drop in form. Um, I think Klopp's a lot better at building a team and maintaining it than Conte is. So we'd probably say Klopp. I'm saying Klopp. And that's not a shot at Conte, but Klopp, Champions League winner, back-to-back Bundesliga, Premier mm. League winner. Whereas Conte won the Premier League. He won the FA Cup. He's won the Serie A. So I'm not saying that it's not close and I couldn't see the other side, but I'm saying Klopp's better than Conte. All jokes aside. But if someone was to say Conte, I wouldn't argue you down. Because they're both still... They're both still in there. It's not like they're both done. They're both still in the race type of thing. That's how I'm looking at it. They're both still competing and it could change. If Conte comes to Spurs and is successful at Spurs and Klopp has another season like this season and then, and then Conte wins it in his second season with Spurs and Klopp again wins nothing, then the whole dynamic changes. But if... Conte goes to Spurs and doesn't win anything. Klopp comes back next season and wins a Premier League or a Champions League. And then the season after wins one of those two trophies or FA Cup. He can swing. It's close is what I would say. Currently, though, I have Klopp ahead simply because he won the back-to-back Bundesliga. He won a Champions League, which Conte doesn't have. And he's got a Premier League. Whereas Conte has a Premier League, a FA Cup and a Skidetto. Does he win anything else? Premier League, Skidetto, Serie A. Um, nah, I think that's just it. It's just numerous times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let me check now. I'm literally going to pull up his numbers now and see, because I bet we're forgetting about something that they've both won. Let me check. Let me check, get his honours up. Because it is an interesting debate still. It is very interesting. Mm. Hold this up now. It is, like I said, it's close because they're still, and this is why it's hard to have these type of debates. And why I don't like people putting people, putting managers and players in GOAT debates when they're not finished yet. Like their season, their, their journey's not done. We don't know what's going to happen. with Conte could go on a run and win trophies in the next five years. And Conte could, I mean, and Klopp could win nothing or vice versa. Klopp could, and we've seen how Mourinho fell off. No one would have expected that. That run he had from, I always say, from 2002 to 2010 was absolutely electric. If we was, at the end of 2010, if someone would have told you, told you 11 years later that Mourinho was managing Roma after sacking Spurs, we would have said, what? No chance. Mm. No chance. And look, so it can happen like that over a year, um, over a five, six year period. You can fall off. I'm here looking now. One second, I'm trying to get his numbers. So honors as a manager. So yeah, he's won. Wait, hold up. Is this Conte. Yeah, he is as well. I just thought I was on the wrong guy. So he's saying here, this is on Wikipedia. Is this right? So he's saying as a manager, he won Serie A in. Wait, 20, 2012, 2013, 2014. Did he win that many? Has he won three Serie A's in a row? Yeah, he went like five years without winning, without not winning the league. Mud. 18, oh, yeah, 17, was 18 was his first season without winning yeah. the league. Oh. I forgot he was there before, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he won 12, so he won, so he's won three Serie A's in a row. And he's won a Premier League and an FA Cup. And then he won Serie A with Inter Milan as well. That's impressive still. That is impressive. I've got to give him his props. It's closer than you think now, looking at that. I forgot about the free Serie A's previously. To free Pete is tough. I don't care what anyone says. Free Pete is tough. That's Pep Guardiola. You know what I'm saying? Damn right. That's Pep Guardiola. Free Pete is tough. And Fun last fact. Jose as well. All the injuries we had in 06, 07 killed us. Yeah, man. Free Pete is tough. That's why the only, the only person to do it in this country is the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? There's levels to this. Fun fact. Conte won the Champions League as a player and his captain was Gian, uh, Gianluca Vialli, Chelsea legend in 96. Mad. Yeah, Conte, he, Conte. Let's go. Yeah, I think in '99, I think Conte was playing in that game. '99, yeah, yeah, Turin. I think he was. Yeah, playing. he was. He was. 
Yeah, it's mud. I think he was playing in that. You know what I'm saying? Big up quiz says big up flawless. Big up to you. Big up everyone that's locked. Marshall saying Klopp's hand hands down. I can't say hands down. Uh, Klopp is the goat. Lewis knows better. I won't say he's the goat. We ain't hating. I just give him his props. I just give him his Klopp is quality. Don't mm. get him mistaken. You know what I'm saying I'm not hating on Klopp, but Rah, wow, you need to win something back to back. That's what I look at. That's how I look at greatness. That's my criteria for defining greatness and that. What did you win back to back? Like I say, it's easier to be the hunter than it is to be the hunted. And Klopp has struggled this season. He's won, he wins one trophy a season. But yeah, Klopp's definitely not the goal, 100%. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to close out the show there, people. Big up to everyone who has locked in, though. Uh, yo, Luis, you want to open up the phone lines for a second, see what's what? Or you got a dip? Yeah, yeah go for it. I can back another turn. All right, cool. We are literally, I'm going to put the StreamYard link in the comments right now, people. So jump on and we'll go back to the Ballon d'Or debate. So should Kante win? That's the question we're asking you. Kante, should, if France do win the Euros, if they win the Euros, should he win the Ballon d'Or? And if not him, who? I've literally just dropped it, dropped the StreamYard link in the YouTube chat right there. So click it. You know what I'm saying? We're not going anywhere, even though Dupe saying great show. Big up to Dupe in it. Champions League runners up FC. Big up to you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Klopp won a Champions League, then a Prem back-to-back. Now, I'm not talking about winning different trophies, winning winning different trophies back-to-back. I'm the same trophy I'm talking about. There's a reason there's only three... There's a reason why there's only three managers who have ever won the Premier League back-to-back. There's a reason for that. Because it's very tough to do. And they're three of the greatest managers ever in Fergie, Mourinho and Pep. It's very tough. Very tough. But yeah, the link is there. So welcome into the show. We spoke to him before. Man like Malcolm, what yeah, are you man. telling me? You good first and foremost? Yes. Yeah, bro. man. Good, bro. Yo, man That's like it. Lewis, bro. Big up, big up, big up. Love, man. Love. Yeah, man. So what are you saying about Ballon d'Or then? If Kante wins the Euros for France, well, with mm-hmm. France, I should say, should he win the Ballon d'Or? And if not him, who do you think should win it? <sighs> man. Like, listen, listen, yeah. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I can't a baller, yeah. Like, I know he's a baller, but I just feel like I'd say Diaz. I think it, I don't like, it, like, listen, yeah, this, like, this guy, yeah, like, no one can get through him. Like, this guy's been a war for like City for like the whole season. Like, mm-hmm. even though he, even though he didn't start as well, like, when City was still like, you know. Still like at seventh and stuff, but like he still like this. He literally carried the city team. Like you can talk about the boy now going to one, but this guy, if 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 City didn't buy me, yeah, like City wouldn't be like they wouldn't have won the league. So I just feel like Diaz. If he wins the Euros, then yeah, no question, he's getting the ball on the butt. I think now the country has won the Champions League, and like you know, he's going, he's in France. You know, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a tough. Tough, tough debate, but it's either I'll say either Diaz or Kante. Diaz or, okay, so Kante, you say so if yeah. Portugal. So if Portugal win the Euros, you'd go with Diaz. Yeah. But if France win the yeah. Euros, you go with Kante. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, I would edge Diaz. Just you no, know, just edge it. But you know, uh, it's either between those two. Okay, fair enough. And yeah. is there anyone else you reckon deserves an honourable mention? Anyone that sticks out. Mm. I don't know. It's, I mean, I don't know if I say, as I say, G- Gundo one or I don't know. It's like, Jim. Gundo one, Gundo one's a good shot. Gundo, Gundo one's a good shot. Like that is actually a good shot because he's, he's played well. From, I think he's, the thing is, I say he's either. I, I say he's City's second best player right now. Mm. Like, yeah. So yeah. yeah I know, but. Uh, I I I, know, I I had Lewis saying Mount, so like <laughs> that's a like, <laughs> that's last one. Listen, yeah, don't, no, no disrespect to Mount, yeah. Let's be Mount. I'd say maybe next two seasons, next two seasons. That's all that the season. The next two, I hear that. Mm. Christian, Christian, Christian's gonna win the next season. No question. This Christian season win the next season. No, you next just season. Made, you just made, you just made Lewis's day. Okay. <laughs> so this year, Christian's next amount that you're after. Yeah. I'm happy. They have the free piece as well, that. so I'm all here. <laughs> That's one. Oh, Come on. Is that about the... Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Alright, fair enough, man. Okay, man. Anything you want to add before we let you dip? Anything you want to add? Nah, nah, man. Alright, man. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Big Respect, up. man. Look up everyone yeah. in the panel, by the way. Everyone okay. in the chats. Keep Big subscribing. Up, keep liking, everyone. Yeah. Big, Big up, man. Respect, respect. You know what I'm saying? Anyone else who wants to jump in, feel free before we close out the show. But yeah, man, love to everyone who's locked. How many likes we on? Right, whether you're watching this back or you're watching this live right now, make sure you get the likes up. We're at 46 in it, so hit four more before we go. Let's get us up to 50 likes. Make sure you subscribe to Carefree Lewis's channel also. In it. His channel is in the description. You can catch me on his channel on Friday, 6 p.m., Shameless FC, alongside other fans of... Well, it's the big five now, isn't it? And Babs and Slabs representing Arsenal and Spurs. You get what I'm saying? So make sure you mm -hmm. check that out. There's a playlist on Sarcasm City TV for Shameless FC, so you can catch them all on there as well. There's a playlist for all of them. And there's a playlist for this show and all the other shows as well. We got 48. Oh, 48 likes. All right. Yeah, large. Get to 50. yeah. Big up. One sec, fam. Oh. oh, no. oh yeah, yeah. Man's back. Man's back. Yo, no spamming in the comments, people. No spamming in the comments. But yeah, we are going to dip out. Yo, Lewis, anything you want to add or anything you want to plug before we dip? Champions of Europe, mate. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> That's it, yeah? Is that all you got? Champions of oh. Europe, man. Uh, uh, gee. See, Ryan out here, Lion. Make sure you watch Shameless FC. I just fully flawless about his dead. Hi, Ryan. I hope you're up Friday, 6 p.m. as well, G. Yeah, man, you get me? Because them lot, win, them lot win one league title every, every 31 years and it's a wrap. Bear with me. One second, family. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, check out Shameless FC 6 p.m. We're going to be running with this Champions of Europe thing for the whole show. I can't wait. i got plans for it. Ryan, I hope you're there too because I need you to add to the shamelessness of it. Looking Def forward definitely. to it. Definitely he gonna add to the shamelessness 100 percent You know what I'm saying? But imagine trying to bully me by my dead team when you like won the Power League Premier League. You know what I'm saying? And that these man won the Premier League and you get me five subs, drinks breaks, you know what I'm saying, and won one league title in, th in three decades and some change. Have the cheek to be talking about and win one Champions League every 15 years. Comedians. Um, he says, Yeah, I'm here for Friday, bro. Big up Mustafa, who says big up CFC Atkin says champions, soon to be world champions. Yeah, I'm here for Friday, bro. We already said that. Uh, Fia that. Jacobs says, Big up Lewis, champions of Europe. Come also, on. Dupe says, Can the next season just start already? Soon come, soon come, soon come. Uh, Ryan, I hope we draw you in the Champions League group stage and we smack you. <laughs> it's a mazo. But yo, love to everyone who has locked in, man. We hope you've enjoyed Agenda FC. We're here every Wednesday. It will vary depending on the when the Euros comes up because obviously we don't want to clash with any of the, the live games. But we're here every Wednesday. Myself, Carefree Lewis, um, sometimes joined by a special guest. Obviously, we'll keep these rolling through as well. We'll do more phone-in shows as well. Yeah, man, that's what them man won, the Power League Premier League, man, with drinks breaks and all them things and five subs. Uh, big up Flawless. Let's get into 3K subs before the end of the month. Please get the channel. Please subscribe if you're new people. Please subscribe to Sarcasm City TV. Please make sure you do that. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. We hope you lot have enjoyed this show also. And this has been Agenda FC on Sarcasm City TV.